Well, hello there, and welcome to this wonderful day. I'm sitting out here on the porch and just enjoying a marvelous day, thinking, and got some ideas that I wanted to help you with. I got a lot of people that asked about uh, the hustle muscle that I wrote about a while back, and I wanted to do a little bit more, kind of give an update and uh, work on that. So, hey, we wrote a little paper here that I want to share with you and some ideas. But first, let you see a little bit of what's going on right now as we're out here on the porch, and you can see what's going on. There's the, the lake out there, and as we look over this way, you can see some uh, interesting things. Matter of fact, one thing interesting there is a helicopter. I don't know if you can see that from where you are uh, up in the sky. It's just stationary. And actually, there's a couple of them, which lets me know, hey, something's going on over there. Don't know what it is, but uh, sometimes uh, police will do that, and we'll just let them do their job. I'm sure they can do that without me bothering them. <laughs> so, hey, Mark, good to see you, and uh, Trish, good to have you here. Welcome aboard. So, yeah, it's a wonderful day here in Orlando, but I'm thinking about six ways that you can really develop that hustle muscle, because it's something that I've noticed is really Really interesting. People who get ahead in life are the ones who get out there, they take action, whether they're in law or uh, in law or they're in uh, consulting on uh, things like that, Mark, like you're talking about, and other areas where we work. What we've got to do is we do have to get out there and really make things happen. Hey, Dale, good to have you. Well, let's hope things are going well for you up there in Detroit and uh, look forward to uh, uh, seeing you again pretty soon. So, yeah, the thing is to get out there and hustle. If you set back and it's a natural tendency in human nature to kind of want to, you know what I'm talking about, we just sit back, take it easy, and I'll relax here and do that. Well, there's a place for that, but doing it too much doesn't help you to get ahead. I like an old saying that says, uh, comfort does not contribute to greatness. You don't become really great by just being comfortable. What we've got to do is to hustle and get out there, and there's ways to do it too, and there's ways not to. It's not, we're not talking here about being frenzy. We're not talking about just rushing, rushing, rushing and not getting things done. There's a set of steps that you want to go through and work on those. Now, this is going to be coming out very soon in an article. Matter of fact, I'll probably put it over on Steemit first. So say hi to my friends there on Steemit. You get a chance to see that. And by the way, those of you that are coaches, that are writers, that are thinkers, are speakers, professional speakers, if you want to get paid for what you write about, not just put something out there on a platform where they, they get paid by using you and selling it to advertisers, but where you get really paid for putting something out there, look into Steemit. That's S-T-E-E-M-I-T, steemit.com. Great little platform that I've been using and uh, really enjoy it. Hey, Rob, good to have you with us. Hope you're doing well out there in uh, Salt Lake. And uh, matter of fact, hoping to get a chance to see you in just a few days. So uh, uh, glad you could join us right now. But going back to the uh, six steps on that, the first one is observe. I think you got to start by looking around and find out what's happening. What's going on? Too many people want to get out there and just hustle, hustle, hustle. And that's more like that frenzy thing, which isn't very productive. What you want to do is you want to look at what's going on. I, I read about uh, fighter pilots, and my friend Wa Rob Waldo Waldman, uh, a lieutenant colonel from the United States Air Force, retired now. I uh, was a fighter pilot, and uh, he concurred with this, that what you need to do is to have situational awareness. Find out what's going on. What is happening right now? The kind of things that are happening. Dale, I know you were also in the Special Forces and uh, got a chance to see some of those uh, actions out there. Being aware of what's going on is really important. And also, being aware of the dangers out there. Ignoring the danger is the greatest danger. So the first thing in developing that hustle muscle is, notice we're not even hustling, yes, we're just doing our plan. We're being aware and observing what's happening. That's step number one. Number two, develop your plans. Set down and you want to take the plans, look into what needs to be done, and develop an action plan so that you know this is what we can do. Given the resources we've got, the uh, time, the money, the energy that we have, what can we do to achieve that goal? And lay out your plan very carefully, thinking it through. Notice again, we're not going out in just frenzied, frenetic way of hustling. You're saying, okay, this is what we can do. We can't do this yet. We can't do this. We don't have the resources to do this. We don't have the money. We don't have the time. We're not uh, in a position to do this. That's okay. Think about what you can do. I like a phrase that I've used for quite often, old uh, Theodore Roosevelt. He didn't like to be called Teddy, but Theodore Roosevelt, president of the United States, the 20, what was it, 26th president of the United States, when he said, do what you can with what you've got right where you are. And uh, I think that's a good thing. Now, I did not vote for Teddy Roosevelt. I'll have you know that. But I do agree with that saying that he had, and I thought it was uh, pretty good. Well, number three, then, you want to take action immediately. 
When you see it's time to do it, you get out there and you do it. You don't wait. So you've done your preparation. You've observed what's going on, and then you realize, okay, now it's time to move. You get out there and you hustle. You take action. Some people have said that when you've got a list of things to do, list of actions, that what you ought to do is just tackle the very toughest and largest one first. And you get that out of the way. I, I understand that, and I agree with a lot of what they say on that, but I think also there's something to be said for warming up. Start with something small that builds success, and then, as Walter Riston says, he was the chairman of Citicorp long ago, he would say, you build success upon success. Hey, Josh, good to have you with us today also. You build success upon success. Find out what you can do and get those early victories. And you know what happens then. It's like you've done something you go, hey, I'm good at that. Let me go at it again. If I've got success here, I can do even more. Lewis, nice to have you here. Uh, good to have you from over there in Dallas. Hope that life is treating you well. Um, but you want to build that success upon success. Find out something. And so I often say, start with little victories. Do something that you can feel good about uh, if you've got a major task. And then you build that confidence to attack the other uh, applications and the other tasks you have. One of the nice things I find about build, doing something and building competence is you build confidence. Build the competence, the skills in the area, and that helps to build your confidence. You know you can do it. Matter of fact, I know many of you are looking at the options of doing something with video. Uh, it's something that I work with in a lot of my coaching, teaching people how to use video from Facebook Live to putting it on YouTube, putting it in different platforms, using tools like Webinar Jam, getting out and using that. And by the way, there's Session Jam now. They've got a whole new platform that ties into YouTube. Great little thing to do. And by the way, the hustlers are the ones who are going to succeed in that. They are using this, and it's a great way to leverage what you need to do and to get more done. So take that action, get out there. And number four, here's a real biggie. You, those of you that have followed me for a while know I talk about this a lot. You wanna connect with other people. Connect with important people. Find the people who are strategically important to you. They're good supporters. They think like you do. They share common values. They're sharing the values of work and character, those types of things. Oh, there's a lot of people out there that don't hold that. They think, oh, the world owes me a living. Oh, this bad thing happened to me. Oh, this thing happened there. The whiners and the complainers out there. We've seen a lot of them out there in the world today. And uh, those are the kind of people you want to just kind of, as they say down south, well, bless their heart. <laughs> we wish them the best but you don't want to hang around them because they're going to start rubbing off on you. You want to hang around those people who aggressively say, let's make happiness for others. Let's produce value in the world. Let's make sure that things happen in a positive direction. And you want to stay in touch with those people. Often, you want to just give them a holler and just say, hey, how you doing? Not trying to sell them something, just saying, hello, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Or here is an article that I thought you might like. Here's the link for that. Remember years ago, we would uh, tear out an article that we saw in the magazine and send it to someone. Or if we wanted to send it to several, we'd run it over to the Xerox machine. And usually it was Xerox. We'd uh, punch some buttons there and run off a bunch of copies and send it out to people. That's a good thing to do. Today, you can send a link to people like that. Or you can even better, here's one, send them a private, personal video message, a video email. Tools like BombBomb uh, work for that. iJot used to work for that. They used to recommend iJot. Unfortunately, they went out of business. But that's a good tool, again, using video. I've talked a lot about that in my coaching as well, helping people and coaching them how to use it, not only from a technical point of view, but also, and even more importantly, from the soft skills point of view. How do you get that message out to people? You want to find profound, positive ways that you can touch them. I like using Camtasia often. I might read an article and I can share that on Camtasia, actually showing the article there on the screen. So I do that. The Camtasia people are from uh, TechSmith up there in Okemos, Michigan. Great little tool. I use CMac, the Camtasia for Mac, and it gives me the ability to create special videos. Now you don't do this for all, uh, everyone all the time. You do it very rarely with a targeted message to very important people. And you want to stay in touch 
with those people. Stay in touch regularly. I like the way that Gary V talks about it. Gary Vaynerchuk, his work is really, really good. He has a book out called Jab, 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 Right Hook. Give, 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 lots of value, and then you would ask for something showing them that what you can do. This is the real world, and it works out very, very nicely that way. So I encourage you to you know, look into that, see what's available, and notice what you can do on that. So stay in touch with those important people and do it on a regular basis. Number five, oh, here's a good one. You might want to write this one down. Number five, remember this important question. Is what I'm doing right now the most important thing to do? Is what I'm doing right now the most important thing to do right now? Right now, is this the most important thing to do? Sometimes you might want to write that down. I know people have framed that and put it up there. Is this the most important thing right now? Putting that in there and seeing that clearly helps you to focus, okay, I need to hustle here. i got to stop wasting time because part of nature is entropy. That's a word that simply, it's the second law of thermodynamics. Old Sir Isaac Newton told us about that. It means things generally tend to wander down. As human beings, we naturally long for rest. We want to take a break. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Oh, if I can just get past this. Oh, how many more hours do I have before I get to punch the clock and leave home? How many days until my vacation? We long for that rest. But if you stay in that rest, you're just going to wither and ultimately die. So what we're talking about is you take that time and you look at what can you do right now, like, for instance, during business hours, that you can do to get out there and reach clients and help them. I uh, learned that real well um, looking at the uh, kind of applications of, that I've seen from others who are successful and uh, do very well. What you want to do is to make sure that every moment you're doing what is most important at that moment. And by the way, sometimes that means when you're with a person, you're with that person. I'm talking to you out there who are using those cell phones, using those mobile devices and something else. When you're with somebody, you have a luncheon, and you're going, oh, oh, hold it. Oh, oh, somebody just called. i got to get to that. Oh, oh, hold it. Got a message here. Oh, somebody more important than you just called, and they're on the phone. I go, hey, stop that. Stop that nonsense. Be with that person. Now, if you are a doctor and you're on call, let them know that. Just say, hey, I got my cell phone here because I'm on call, but we could probably have lunch today. I don't expect anything, but there it is. Or if your uh, spouse or significant other is expecting a ch- child at any moment, well, they'd be ready or there could be an emergency. Yeah, we got it. But other than that, when you're with somebody, be with that person right there. They are the most important. And also understand that after X number of minutes, you do need to check the email. You need to check your text messages because you got to plug back into the world as well. But uh, focus. Be with that person. Really, really important. And then number six. Now, this one might sound a little bit counterintuitive when we're talking about hustling. But number six is remember to allot time to refresh and rejuvenate. You can't push. I know you're Superman. I know you're Superwoman. You get out there and go for it. If you're watching this video, you're like that. But you know, you need time to step back and rejuvenate, to refresh. I want you to plan that into your schedule. Make sure that you take time to just kick back and relax. One of the things I value a lot is uh, almost every night, Gina and I get a chance to uh, have a date. That's right, we have a date, we just get together, and often it's just sitting down, we might watch some good YouTube videos, but before we do that, we might put some music in the background and just say, okay, how was your day? What was good today? What successes did you have? Any challenges? How are you doing on that? Oh, that guy called again? Yeah, is he still kind of, yeah, yeah, okay, well, got to do that, or, oh, we lost that one. Oh, I was hoping that would come through, and it didn't. Or, hey, a big success today, we got this uh, booking, or this came through. Share those things, and have that time built in, and then have those extra long three-day weekends, uh, those extra long uh, weeks or so that you might have, vacation, those kind of things, and create it as something that really rejuvenates your body, your mind, and your spirit nurturing and taking care of all those because that helps you then when it's time to go back to work you can hustle more that's the key so those six steps can help you as you really work to develop and strengthen and build your hustle muscle at least that's what i think i value what you think so do me a favor please and leave a comment below send a note down there just say hey what do you i think i like this terry or here's a way that i found to develop a hustle muscle how you can build yours this is something that i do that helps me please share that you'll help a lot and matter of fact i would encourage you please share this with your tribe 
with your community on social media or elsewhere, send this out. Let them know that because this is something that's very important. It's the balanced approach of hustling, but then at the same time, you also want to have that time of rejuvenation and taking, stepping back and taking uh, um, something to develop your mind more, to develop your body. Remember, when you're doing push-ups, that's good. And when you're lifting weights, hey, that's good. Do it properly and with the right medical uh, approach. And there, don't hurt yourself. You want to do it in the right way. And then what you do is when you do that, you do those muscles, your body's going, oh, 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 that hurts. That's okay. Don't do it to an injury, but right up to a point where you're feeling, uh, okay, I can't do any more. That's all right. And then you rest, and that's when you really build the muscles. You don't build your muscle with push-ups. You do not build your muscle with weightlifting. You build it when you do the weightlifting and then let the relaxation and rest, and your body says, oh, we got to build back up to this. That's good. Then you go the next day or the next time you're scheduled to do your workout, and you tear down the muscle, and then you rebuild it. Very, very important to do that. So, hey, thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me, and I look forward to getting your comment. And by the way, those of you that are watching this after the recording, when you're wa- not, it's not live, you're watching the recording, know that I'm going to be checking this within the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. I make it a special point to check back and to respond to all the comments that come in. So please leave a comment. I'll look forward to hearing from you. And, of course, uh, you can get in touch with me, terry at terrybrock.com is email. And if you're interested in uh, learning more about these concepts, we have a special coaching program that's available. And you can go to, a matter of fact, I even got a special thing. I haven't even told you about this yet, but uh, something that I put together. I got a website, 20withterry.com. That's 2020withterry.com. And it's going to give you 20 minutes free free coaching strategic planning that you can use to find out what you need to do with video, with your planning, your life, putting it together, how to develop your hustle muscle. It's kind of like, hey, it's up to you. And then we have strategic coaching programs that are available that if there's a good fit for you on that, that's something you might want to look into. So go over to 20 with Terry. That's 20 with W-I-T-H and T-E-R-R-Y dot com. 20 with Terry dot com. And you'll find out all about it. Matter of fact, cute little video over there, too, you want to see. So uh, I'll look forward to hearing from you on that. Hey, thanks very much for joining me. And from here on the balcony and from looking out over there, here, let you see again a little bit more what's going on here. This is Orlando, Florida, r- live right now, what it looks like. And I'll stand up even a little bit here so you can see it even better. So you can see the lake is out there. It's doing fine. And more new construction going on. And way off of the distance, there's the Orlando uh, Air Traffic Control Tower, which uh, I'll be using in just a little bit. Well, I, I won't be there myself, but I'll be at the airport, and they take good, good care of us out there doing a good job. So, hey, have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me today.